Yesterday was the 16th anniversary of the September 11th, 2001 attacks on our country. And I decided to do a video today on a knife that I actually picked up yesterday. Um, that uh, it's, a, it's a knife that's kind of a result of those attacks in a way. Um, the knife I'm talking about here on the bottom is the Spyderco Rhodey. Um, I was not very aware of this knife for a long time. Um, well, for one thing, it's not it's not been around that long to begin with, but um, I had seen them uh, in catalogs and never really thought too much about them and uh, started reading a little bit uh, about the history of the Rhodey and found out that it was actually um, created as a result of the 2013 TSA knife guidelines um, being softened a little bit. Um, back in 2013, TSA had announced that uh, there was the possibility of allowing passengers to return to carrying um, pocket knives on their person uh, during flights. Um, obviously, still with some major restrictions, but when they announced that, Spyderco um, wanted to uh, be ready for this, and so they began um, their production of this little, this little knife, uh, this little slip joint knife here known as the Rhodey. Um, you can kind of see for a size comparison, this is the dragonfly above it here. Um, this is really a tiny little slip joint uh, traditional folder. I'm really surprised that these are not more popular. Um, I know they're not, there's nothing tactical about them. Uh, they're a two-handed opening knife. Um, you know, it's, it's not a, there's no locking mechanism. Um, the blade is pretty minuscule in, in terms of its size. Uh, it's definitely got some limitations, but even, even with all that uh, in mind, I'm still really surprised this knife is not more popular. Because to me, these two knives here are, are kind of the perfect um, balance between tactical and traditional. Okay, and as you know, Spyderco is, is my absolute favorite um, manufacturer of knives. And so when I started reading a little bit more about this knife, um, I started be getting interested in it. And yesterday, um, I didn't really buy it just because yesterday was the anniversary of the September 11 attacks, but uh, because it had been on my mind so much, I just I happened to buy it yesterday. And um, so far, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Just a few specs on this knife. Normally, I don't go into a whole lot of these, but because you don't see a whole lot of reviews on the Rhodey, I thought I'd give you a few of these just in case you may be interested. Um, the overall length is 5.8 inches. The closed length is 2.99, so basically 3 inches closed. Um, there's no pocket clip on it, no sheath, nothing like that. This is just a, a very... This is Spyderco's version of an old-school, traditional slip joint knife. Um, the blade length on this is 2.9 inches, and that's part of why um, this was going to be allowed uh, to be carried um, on your person during a flight because of that short blade length. Um, the edge length is 1.72 inches. Uh, FRN handles, and again, like I mentioned, it's a uh, slip joint locking type. Uh, the steel is N690CO. I'll confess, I, I really don't know much about that steel. Um, I, I've had it for just over 24 hours, so I'm, I'm doing a little bit of research on it. But to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter that much to me. Um, this is not a knife that I'm going to be doing any real serious cutting tasks with. This is basically just something that I bought because I thought, well, if I'm going somewhere and, and even the, if, if even this little tiny dragonfly is too much, um, there's no reason to be without this, uh, this nice little, uh, slip joint roadie. Here's the coolest thing about the roadie. The weight. 
the weight on this thing is one ounce. That's nothing. <laughs> that's that's really, I mean, that's nothing. Um, you will truly forget you have this. I know a lot of people like using that that phrase for a lot of things, um, you know, as far as knives or firearms. Oh, you'll you'll forget it's in your pocket. Well, in reality, a lot of stuff. No, you are very much aware that it's in your pocket, but not this. You you literally could forget you have this on you. Um, it's one ounce. That's nothing. Okay. Um, kind of a neat blade shape. Um, I've read a little bit about it, and I've got to say, when I first saw this uh, in in the catalog. I thought it was it was kind of ugly, and maybe some of you still think it's ugly. That's fine. Um, it's grown on me a lot, though, just in the last in the last 24 hours that I've just been, um, you know, flipping it around, playing with it, messing with it. Um, it's kind of growing on me. One thing I really like about it is this double dent feature. Okay, I don't know if you can tell. Um, instead of a nail nick, they they have this it's it's a trademarked feature it's called the double dent and um it it does give you a nice um opening option i i really do prefer that over a nail nick for one thing i can't stand when my fingernails get long i always keep them really really short um so i usually don't have much of a fingernail to get in a nail nick anyway so i like that double dent feature um, it's got the lanyard hole. I just threw a little cheap little paracord lanyard on there. Uh, this is the red one. You can get these in, uh, I think there's about five different color options. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's the black, the blue, the gray, the orange, and the red. This is the red. kind of looks orange right now, but it, it is the red. Um, uh, as far as origins, this is uh, this is from Italy. Okay, so a lot of Spider Coast stuff. Um, let's see if it's yeah, like on the Dragonfly, uh, Japan. A lot of the Spider Coast knives uh, do come from Japan. I think they may have some that are done in Taiwan. Maybe uh, this one's Italy. Um, so you know, for for your money, and I think I paid. Um, I want to say 50, say 50 and some change for this knife. Um, I think that's probably the leading reason why this knife is not more popular. It's not cheap. It's a very small little minuscule knife for, for 50 bucks. Uh, and I get that. I get that. But to me, it was just so, it, it, it was a cool thing. It's like to have a traditional slip joint knife that is Spyderco. I don't know. I just, I thought that's cool. I like that a lot. So, anyway, neat little knife. Spyderco Rhodey. Um, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I know a lot of people will, will probably think this is this is a um, one of the most least appealing knives they've ever seen. I understand that completely. Um, but I think there are, are definitely those of us out there who can appreciate something like this for what it is um you know just a neat little um slip joint folder neat little knife by spider co anyway hope you enjoyed it, guys see you next time